Hey guys, it's me, Kush, and welcome back to Kush's Suffering. My suffering for your amusements. This video was requested by my friend Nintendo Gamer Guy. I'll put a link to his channel and page in the description below. And I gotta say, I finally understand all the commotion about this movie. Fifty Shades of Shit is just horrible. The main thing I have about this movie is that I don't get it. The purpose of the movie. Like, this is supposed to be a, a drama, a romance, or a porn. Because once you get about halfway through, it's nothing but kinky shit. And the start of it is really weird because Christian takes Anastasia into the sex room full of whips, riding crops, and other things. And, and he asks her if she wants to be his sex slave. What? Well, dude! You barely even knew her, and he is... Why do you think 50 women broke up with you? If there's a girl you just met, you don't ask her to be your sex slave and show her this dungeon. That's creepy. And it's worse is that the girl's just having a hard time deciding if she wants to or not. Okay, lady, I know it's a hot guy. You think she's, he's hot? That's okay. But really, you just... You don't be sexually tortured just like that when you barely know someone. You need time to get used to that. And you really have to go through all the details of, of a sex slave. It, it's really unnecessary to go through all the details. And even when they get to the multiple unnecessary sex scenes, they're not even hot. Did a 13-year-old did a write those sex scenes? I think they did. A 13-year-old had to have wrote them. It also really bothers me that Christian and Anastasia are the only two characters that actually have a bit of depth to them. Everyone else, not a bit. Um, everyone else is playing generic background characters to show that there's more characters in the movie and people have family. We do know tiny bits of information about the main two, but it goes just like that. And we also don't know why Christian is like this. Just to give a one quick reason, like, his first mother wasn't very good, but she died when he was four, so I'm surprised he even remembers that. I myself have a great memory, but it doesn't go back that far. He loves her, why does he want to torture her? That's just... I know love can be complicated to get into fights and stuff, but it's not that extreme, guys. Not that extreme. In other words, with Anastasia, she... I don't know which character I hate more, because she... If, if someone just you don't know very well asks you to be their sex slave, you don't say, I'll think about it. You say, no, I'm going to call the police on you. That's what you do. And at the end of the movie, she tells him to give her the punishment, and then she gets mad at him for giving it to her and acts like he's a bad person. Lady, you told him to do it. Why are you so angry at him for something you told him to do? Oh, I really don't understand the point of these characters. Do they love each other or not? I really don't get it. I have to go through all these... I, I know there there's some that, that, that weird stuff when people want to be a sex slave, things like that, but not just like that. I will admit they... The, the shots when they're on the helicopter and the glider, I like those shots. They're very well shot, make me feel good. Oh, I also forgot to mention that they also have the, the song Love Me Like You Do, which... I admit, it's a good song, I like that song. But apart from the, the shots of the helicopter and glider and the song, there's no real quality about this movie. Just cringy, cringy sex scenes and flat characters. And when the character, the story is trying to be emotional, it's not even good. It's way, way too edgy. I can see why this movie won Worst Picture type of Fantastic Four 2015, but even with that, I'd still pick the 2015 Fantastic Four over this movie, because at least that movie, I understood the things going on, and, and some of the characters we knew about. When this, we barely knew anything about the characters and didn't get the plot. Was it supposed to be a romance, a drama, or a porn? If you ask me, you should have just made the movie a porn for middle schoolers, because it's like a lot like that. There also really isn't a main conflict or a goal they have to achieve in, in this movie. He does want to make her his sex slave, and she's having a hard time deciding that, but we don't see that conflict until about halfway through, and they barely even focus on it. We're distracted by all these subplots and other things that don't even matter. And the guy, Christian Grey, he is such a creep. Like, when, when she goes all the way down to Georgia, 
He knows ex not only where to find her, but the exact restaurant she's in and the seat where she was at. Dude, that's stalking! Did you put a tracking device on her or something? That is just... Let's not forget how Gray was always bragging about not sleeping with people, yet he slept with Anna after he taught, brought her back from being drunk one time. I really hate this movie. And I'm so glad the guy who requested it was nice enough to let me just do the first movie, because there's no way I'm doing the full trilogy. I'm surprised this was successful enough to get the full trilogy. To be fair, I haven't read the book, and I'm not very interested in doing it. But, so I'm not going to be comparing much from the book to the movie here, if anyone's wondering. Because I haven't read the book yet. One of the worst scenes in the movie, I have to say, is when he has the... Well, I'm going to try to do the best I can describing this without hurling. I'm not going to show any pictures, by the way, because I don't want to make you guys hurl too. I'm just going to do my best to describe it. Yes. And I feel... <laughs> it is... Yes, he has a nice cube in his mouth. And he's kissing down her body, making her feel chills. <laughs> oh! Oh, that's so sick! <laughs> Who wrote these sex scenes? I swear, they're not even hot! Oh my fucking god, that is so bad. <sighs> In conclusion, this is Fifty Shades of Shit. You don't watch this movie at all. Even if you like kinky romance stuff, don't watch it. Unless you're like a middle schooler, I guess you may somewhat enjoy the sex, but besides that, don't even watch this movie, please. It's that bad. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. This was me, Crush. Again, this was requested by my friend Nintendo Gamer Guy. If you have any requests for the show, go to the comments section or to the email shown up here. Thank you again for watching and have a great day.